I moved to Hackney when I was 14 years old. To begin with, I was so scared. People said to me, don't carry a phone or wear nice clothes. But they were wrong. Most people get Hackney wrong. This is the story of Hackney today. Told by people who know it best. Hackney people. Would you like to say to the camera, what is the best place to live in the world? Hackney. Hackney is it's, it's, it's the place to be in now. I think the whole world is in Hackney. It makes you feel like you're actually in somewhere that matters, that actually is part of a you know, new beginning for, for our society. My name is Mark Kumar and I'm going to be telling you about my local area, Hackney. What Hackney means to me, what Hackney is where I live, where I go to school, and most importantly where some of my family and friends are. Hackney is also a place where I guess anything can happen. Hackney has a history, and it's one that everyone here is part of. From local legends to familiar faces, we build the history day by day. They yeah, very much believe in our next king, you know, they understand that's what, that's what it's all about. I love him very much and that's his mom up there. And that's my mom close to her. So, I mean, they've been in there five years. So, yeah, I've, I've known them since they were babies. So, yeah, they just got so used to me that they've moved out my hand. What do you think is the oldest business in Hackney? Oh, well, undoubtedly we are now. Now, we've been here for um, 82 years. This is my parents' wedding photo, and they actually opened this salon on March the 30th, 1930. And my mother did always tell me that in those days, people would be waiting outside from 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning to come in before they went to work. It was a, it was a very... Um, a very new idea was hairdressing, really. I've known these, this shop for 60 years. I used to work a few doors away when I was in my 20s. I've always been very happy with the service. <laughs> very nice and most beautiful girls worked here. Everyone was more pretty than the other. Do you remember all those lovely girls? Yes. I really do like acting. You know, years ago when I was younger, and one Friday my friend took me here, and I thought, wow, this place really looks thriving. It looks even more thriving to me than Brixton. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to come and move down here. And I didn't think I would, but I really did, because I was missing it. After that Friday my friend took me, practically every week I was up here. The first memory of Hackney is of a park right across from my grand's house. There was a floodlit basketball court where I'd go to train at night. Once the kids who played football they had gone home. My grand would stand in her doorway watching me, making sure I didn't come to any harm. What do you want the rest of the world to know about Hackney? 
there it's a fun and exciting place because there's lots of parks to play in lots of places to shop and lots of places to go what does Hackney mean to you? well Hackney is my home really it's where I went to school grew up lost all my baby teeth got braces <laughs> really like jumping really high. I like enjoying going over the bumps <laughs> and kind of tasting the bumps with your wheels. And um, listening to the sound of the wheels going over the bumps and landing back down. Um, and also I like on the bumps. <laughs> Another stuff is when you can hear um, all the noises around you, cars coming, um, people remixing, shouting sometimes. It's just lovely. Brick by brick, bit by bit, a compilation of Victorian houses, estate blocks, shops, entertainment spots, parts, concretes, trees and sticks all make up the area that's definitive as Hackney. This is the area that I grew up to be. I have 24 years, here I've spent 23. I grew up in the Hackney whose music was the reggae dubstep sound. I explored the landscape through the various adventure playgrounds. Cause mum wouldn't let me play in the streets. Holly Street was the one. In our fenced off world of fun, we swung until we flew. When the world looks at Hackney, what do we want them to see? Be on the tower blocks, the city streets, the parks. One thing that doesn't change is that whoever moves in or out, this is our home. What do you think is the biggest challenge for Hackney today? Regeneration, uh, knocking down old buildings and making new ones and building the Olympic Stadium. From Hackney Wick to Dawson, new developments are springing up. The landscape is changing around us, and so are the people. But then Hackney is always changing. Isn't that what we've always done? So I actually did a career, took a career change about 10 years ago and I saw this job advertised in the Farms Weekly of all places and, and thought, well, that is exactly the sort of thing I want to be doing. <laughs> Welcome to Hackney City Farm. My name's Chris Pounds. I'm the farm manager here. I've been here for 10 years and we've seen loads and loads of developments over that time. This site is only two acres. It was established to get a mix of farming um, and agriculture and the environment um, to people living in a city who live in high-rise or high-density um, urban areas. Larry is a bit of a star. Um, he's done adverts, he's done a couple of adverts. He did one for the um, underground about buying tickets and make sure you buy your tickets. Then he did um, one for Google recently. I've been based in Kent you know, most of my life. Um, I live in a little hamlet with only about 35 houses down a little track. Um, sort of place we don't lock a front door or I leave my bike outside not locked up etc and it's very very different from Hackney and I like the I like living in a rural area but I really enjoy working in Hackney so this is a bit weird you know I kind of uh, I commute to London to farm I think it gives you a different mindset as well and you don't get driven down by living in a city which I think a lot of people probably do so I do have the best of both worlds Come summertime, my living room moves here, as does everyone else who doesn't like London fields. Up on the downs, I sit in the late afternoons, book in one hand, beer in the other. The long sun is my reading lamp. Idle football players pass, families picnic on large rugs, young lovers escape their parents' rules. When the leaves turn shades and fall from their branches, I put the book away. The families have gone, 
the courting couple separated, echoes of glory goals reverberate. Once more the downs are mine. I walk by the Mossbourne Academy, thinking of Pinter and Alexander Barron, my heroes from Hackney's literary past. I sit on the benches and fill my notebooks with never finished ideas, incomplete sentences. From Wells Street to Mare Street, Arcola Street to Church Street, you've got people saying my end, my man and my bits. With the same measurement of people saying my home, my abode of no rift. Hackney, an area ever going through change, no matter how famous, fabulous or ordinary for the people from it came, to the world's most beautiful junkyard, where each piece of junk is vital as we brick by brick, bit by bit, build this ever bright community. When I leave this place, I will still take it with me. My friends, my family, the streets, the parks, and the basketball courts. You have to follow your dream. It's going to take time and it's not going to be easy. You have to work hard. But in Hackney, that's what we're good at. So that's hacking from different views, from different people. Thanks for watching. Peace.